Okay, so today on Project Shop, we're going to be doing oil cooler seals on this 2000 F350. Also, I just sprayed all this with uh, some of this Formula 88 degreaser because uh, everything's covered in oil. Okay, I finished degreasing and pressure cleaning the top. I don't re recommend hitting uh, this stuff with a big pressure cleaner. I have a small Harbor Freight. I think it's 1800 PSI. Electric pressure cleaner works great for places you don't want to blast too hard. And it really, I mean, it really doesn't even pressure clean that much, so it's perfect. Uh, what we're gonna do is start this thing up. Now, this thing is like a stubborn girl. She does not like to just have the key stuck in and start. You gotta plug her in, warm her up. So I've had her plugged in for about 30 minutes. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the mileage on this thing and uh, you can see the temperature came up. Now, we're in sunny South Florida. It's probably 80-something degrees out and I still need to plug this thing in probably because of the uh, glow plugs or the originals. They're probably not working. I replaced the solenoid like a year ago um, and it's just the glow plugs need to be changed. Okay, I got it up on jack stands using the jack I uh, just recently refurbished. I made a video on that. But I also took the front wheel off because the oil cooler is actually right back in there. You can't really see it. We're going to get underneath. I just wanted to show you how much crud is on the underneath of this thing. So I started pressure cleaning the front. I just want to show you that everything has a nice coat of crud. So we're going to try to clean all this up and just look how nasty that is. I don't want to get my arms up in there and be touching all this stuff. So we're going to degrease and uh, clean this as best we can and then we're gonna pull this into the shop okay so that's what we're gonna be taking off up there as you can see it's a lot cleaner okay I got the truck in the shop and I have it up on jack stands and that's the oil cooler it's one side and you can barely see the other one I to take a look at it. So we need to take that plug out, and I think it's three screws, three 10 millimeter bolts, and uh, it just pops off, and it's kind of just pressed together. So we'll get that out of there and get it on the bench and take a look. And I'm actually uh, pretty impressed with how clean this is. One of the main reasons I pressure cleaned under here is because I actually watched a couple of videos how to do this, and every one of them, they took it off and it was just filthy. So, and besides, this thing definitely needed it. So you got a good pan because as soon as you remove them three bolts, this thing starts leaking. It's draining the block down right now. It's cooling. Okay, we got it out. Pretty much, it. Uh, once I took the three bolts out, the three 10 millimeter bolts, it was just, I put a pry bar down here and against the frame, and this side slid right out. So what we're gonna do is clean this thing up. Oh, and if I ever do this again, I'm taking the oil filter off first, to drain the oil, because this thing made a mess coming out of there. So what we're gonna do is clean this up a little bit here, and then uh, see how it comes out. Okay, I had to degrease that a little bit. It was just nasty. So we're gonna go ahead and um, set up the bench cam, and I'm gonna tear this thing down, and then we're gonna clean it up some more.
So real quick, I just wanted to go over these seals. Originally, I bought this seal kit here, and um, it didn't come with these. So I went back, and for a couple dollars more, they gave me this. I don't know why it came with so many of the smaller seals, but uh, we're going to take these out, and then we're going to use this because everything I see, they always have these green seals. I don't know really if there's any difference, but we'll keep them other seals. But I want to show you this. This must have been the original because uh, I can't get okay so I just want to show you these seals they're so hard and brittle they just cracked apart so we're gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit more and then put the new seals in